Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, Ladies and gentlemen, here's Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your phones, and fight. between these two big-time athletes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Okay. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, he missed with that right hand. What a punch. Yeah. 
Circling to his right. Goes to the body there. Just misses there with the left. Misses with the right hand. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. There, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Stay busy. You control this. Big body to land. Nice punch there by Lee. And he lands the knee to the body back. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. there. Timely defense there. Huge This fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, just misses with the kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Blocks the shot. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at how he's 
turns his hips into that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence. Oh, he's fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Some strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. He loaded up there with that high kick. Oh, huge kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Point accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, Superman punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice head kick. from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, nice job there defensively to block that knee attempt. Good work by Lee. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So. They have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Shot lands. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Round three next. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. That's not gonna happen. 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big head kick land. He blocks the punch. Good punch land. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Now a knee. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. with that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Just a slip there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Big leg kick land. Let's go, take down. Connects with the right. Nice leg kick land. Nice punch lands over the top. Not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice kick. Oh, good kicks. Lee's a strike attempt there as well. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory 
for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. What is perfect? I mean.